Hey guys, it's David from TheUnlocker.com and today we're showing you how to update your Windows Phone device to Mango. Okay, now before you begin, you should go on your phone all the way down to settings. Scroll all the way down, click on about, more info, and you'll see OS version right here. Uh, and you'll see seven dot something dot something dot something. The four digits in between the two dots, the third dot over second after the second dot, that is your build number. Uh, you need to check that before you begin because if it's 7392 or higher, you can continue. If it's anything lower than that, then you need to update your phone through Zune um, and get to that version, that build first, then you can continue. Okay, so first up, you need to download the necessary files. So we're gonna click on the link there and then scroll down to the bottom of the first post and you'll see download links, click on one of them. Uh, you can click translate. Double click on the .rar there. And we're gonna save it to our desktop just so we know where it is and wait for that to download. Okay, now, so now that is done downloading. We're going to right click it, hit extract files. We're going to select C like that and then click OK and wait for that to extract. Okay, so once it's extracted to the C drive, you're gonna see a folder called Mango and then inside it will be all of these things. Now we actually want all of these folders and these files to be on the C itself, not inside this Mango folder. So we're gonna click them, right click, copy, go back and see now we're on the C drive, we're gonna right click, paste. So now they're all right here on the C drive, they're easy to get to and this will eat us down the road. Okay, so once we do that, we're gonna open the Zoom folder, then the folder inside and we're going to double click on the start zoom local.exe and then wait for zoom to install. Okay, once that's done, don't click launch, click close. Then we're gonna go back, click on update tool. We're gonna choose the folder for our version of Windows again, 64 for 64 bit, 86 for 32 bit, I have 64. And then we are going to double click this setup file. Wait for that to finish. Okay, then we're gonna plug our Windows Phone device in to our computer by USB. Okay, after you plug in your phone uh, via USB, Zoom might pop open. If it does, just close it out completely. And then we're going to the next step, which is we're going to go to our C drive, Go to our Noto to RC. And then we're going to right click the ISV provisioning live file and run as administrator. Click I agree. And wait for it to finish. This will take a while, most likely, because it is going to be backing up your device, uh, etc. So just wait for it to finish. Okay, now once it says succeeded in the provision program, we can close that out. Do not close it until it says that, by the way. Close this. Uh, your phone, by the way, will also reboot a few times during this. When it finally does reboot uh, for the last time, you may need to enter your PIN if you have one on your phone. Uh, do that so that we have your home screen on the device. If you don't need a PIN, then just get the home screen on your device and you're fine. Then, with the phone still plugged in, we are going to open our Zune software. Okay, when Zune opens up, click on the little phone icon on the bottom left, then view sync options, then update, and wait for it to check for the update. Okay, eventually it'll say an update is available for your phone. We're gonna click update. and wait for it to update. Click update now. And now wait for it to update. 
Okay, and you'll notice once it's done installing 7.4 whatever version, it'll automatically start to install 7.7 whatever version. So wait for it to finish. Okay, and then once it's done, um, and it will take a while, by the way, just a word of warning, uh, even if it looks like it's frozen, just let it sit there until it's completely done. Eventually, it will say a successful update. You can click finish, close that, close out zoom. And then we're going to leave the phone still plugged in, go to our C drive, open the RC to RTM uh, folder, right click the ISV27720 .bat file, click run as administrator, and wait for it to update. And after that, the command prompt window will close out and your phone will reboot. And you should be able to go down to settings, scroll all the way down to about, more info, and you should see 7.10.7720. If that's the case, you're on pretty much the final version of Mango minus the carrier stuff that has to be put in it according to the developers that leaked this. And uh, that's it, enjoy.